Hello everybody, I am Developer Relations Engineer David jones Gilardi, and today we're going to learn how to use Langflow with Olama to build Gen AI flows with local models. So this is a little different from if you were using, say, like OpenAI or Anthropic or Mistral, Olama allows you to build models and use models locally. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So if you're not familiar with Langflow, it allows you to visually build out Gen AI workflows, right? It is a free open source tool. Um, that you can either do like a pip install Langflow or just go to the GitHub repo. Um, we're actually going to build out a flow here in a moment, so you'll kind of see how it works if you're not familiar. Okay, great. So I've got Langflow here. Um, and if you've got no flows or anything like that, you'll see this new flow button. So I'm going to click on that. Now, in our case today, I mean, there's all sorts of templates that you can use to get going. We're basically going to build a basic prompt. But instead of using the template, I want to build things from scratch. So I'm going to say blank flow. Now, Langflow, again, it's a visual editor, right? It's meant so you can drag and drop components in a low-code way, and there's all sorts of components on the left-hand side. So to build a basic chatbot, what do we need to do? Well, for one, we need some kind of input, right? We need a way to talk to the bot. Uh, then we need a prompt because we need a method, a mechanism to be able to give instructions to our LLM, our large language model. And then, you know, Langflow is model agnostic. It has support for all sorts of model providers. But in our case today, what we really want is a llama, right? So I'm just drag that over. And then finally, I need some kind of output. I need a way for the LLM to then respond, and then we can have an end-to-end -end -end full loop conversation. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to wire a couple of things up. I'm going to take my chat input, give it to input. My prompt will go to the system message. And then the output here will wire up into our chat output. Now, if you notice something, you'll notice uh, this right here with a llama that its base URL is pointed to localhost and port 11,434. This is the default for Olama. So why don't we go ahead and take a look real quick at um, Olama here. So if you've never used it before, like I said, it's a service. It's another free open source tool. Uh, you install a service locally. You just say download here. You pick your OS. It takes like five minutes. It's super easy. And then once you've installed it, right, you pick a model. And so I go over models here. Now, there are all sorts of models you can choose from. Um, I would highly suggest, especially for those of you who are running, say, on laptops like I am right now, um, you want to use a model that is more optimized for that kind of use, right? Because some of these have a huge amount, like 70 billion parameters. They're going to be super slow locally. They may take more memory than you have available or something. But a model like Llama 3.2 is actually really great to experiment with. Um, it has small with 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models. It runs great on my laptop, right? So this is the one that I'm going to use here. So once you pick a model, you just click on it. You get this nice command. Once you have the Olama service up and running, like I said, it just takes like five minutes. Um, then you'll run this in your terminal. That will then download and install the model, and it's ready to go. And once you've done that, and you come here, again, this is a default port. All I have to do is refresh this. And now I have a list. Now I've got some other models I've used in the past, but I'm going to choose Llama 321B. OK, great. So I have my basic chatbot, but there's one thing I need to do here. I need to give it some instructions, right? So I'll say, you are an overly enthusiastic bot. Answer, answer user questions to the best of your ability. All right. Super simple instructions there. And now we're going to say something like hello. And then I'm going to build over here. Now you can see right now it is running against my local model. And let's take a look. I love uh, I did tell it was an overly enthusiastic bot, but you can see, oh my gosh, it's so great to meet you. It's just so happy, right? And you can come in here and say, you know, why, why, ah, why is Langflow so cool, right? And now it's going to pass that through our chat input into uh, our local Llama 321B model and give us yet another very enthusiastic response. And there you have it. That's it. It's that easy, right? So, so in, you're not limited to, by the way, like, you know, just like a, a chat bot or anything, whether you're talking about an agentic flow or a rag pipeline or anything. If you have a need where you want to use local models instead of having to go to one of the providers, here you go. Thank you, everybody. I hope you learned something from this today. Happy coding, and we'll see you later.